accurate viewers in today's session we'll be discussing a new topic that is pair of linear equations in two variables so we'll be introducing this topic okay now see we have pair linear equations and variables so what is variables so in maths these are denoted by x y z okay this small caps small caps of the english alphabets now see variables means anything that means they do not have any constant value just like the constants any number can be assigned to them say x can be 2 x can be 3 4 anything pertaining to whatever context we are dealing with okay next we have the equations so, so x y z anything they are the variables next equations something equated you know on both side left hand side as well as right hand side so let me give you an example say we have 3x minus 4 is equal to 7 so see here we have an equal sign left hand side okay is equal to the right hand side so that is what is an equation here you can see you have constants 3 4 7 x is a variable so easily we can find out the solution that is what will be the value of x in this case next we have to learn linear equations okay now linear means what the algebraic expression okay what is the highest power of the variable in this case you see what is the variable x what is the power one so linear means that highest power or say degree should be one so in this case you see the power of x is one so we can say this is nothing but a linear equation okay linear you have to focus on the degree one this is linear equation next pair so pair is something you know a new term which will be introduced in class 10 you will be introduced to this particular term pair pair of linear equations that means what we'll be dealing with two linear equations okay so these equations are not just merely used for mathematical you know calculations but then they have got some use okay in our practical life also in our day-to-day -day life how so let us see say suppose you go to the market okay and you buy a bottle of shampoo and the cost is 30 rupees okay so if you buy one bottle you have to pay how much 30 rupees if you pay if you have to buy two bottles how much you will pay 60 30 into 260 again if you buy three bottles you have to pay 90 rupees so see as the number of bottles of shampoo you buy goes on increasing the amount of money which you are supposed to pay is also increasing so one side number is increasing number of bottles on the other side amount which you will pay is also increasing so if you decrease the number of bottles simultaneously the number of you know money you have to pay or you are supposed to pay also decreases so we see that yes there exists some sort of linear relationship between the money which we are going to pay and the number of bottles which we are going to buy so for the time being if x is the amount which is to be paid okay amount to be paid and y is the number of bottles that is the shampoo bottles we are considering in this case so we see that yes there exists a linear relationship between the two how x is equal to 30 y okay so x amount to be paid y number of bottles go on increasing the number of bottles amount also increases so see this is linear equation this is what linear equation in two variables so what are the two variables here and the two variables are x and y okay so this is a single equation now consider the second example okay where we are calculating the total number of students in a class say suppose it is 40 and we say that yes the class consists of both boys and girls so what we can write is that 
number of boys plus number of girls is equal to 40 okay so if we denote the number of boys by x and number of girls by y we can write x plus y is equal to 40 okay so let this be equation number one see this is also a linear equation what is the highest power one in this case one so it is a linear equation in two variables now what if i say that the number of boys is five more than the number of girls that is the number of boys x is five more than the number of girls so how can we write this we can write this as x minus y is equal to 5 so we have this equation number 2 and what was our first equation x plus y is equal to 40 so thus we see that this is a pair 2 two linear equations in two variables okay what are the variables x and y and the power they are raised to is 1 which indicates that yes we are dealing with linear equations so this is pair of linear equations in two variables what are the two variables x and y now if we have equation of the type twice x square plus 3y is equal to 5 so will it be a linear equation i mean see you have to check linear so what is for linear what are you going to check is that the degree what's the degree here see it is 2 and y is raised to 1 so what is the degree degree is 2 so we say this is not a linear equation okay next if we have equations of the type so x to the power minus 1 plus y to the power minus 1 is equal to 7 see here it is raised to minus 1 so that's the reason we say this is not a linear equation again if we have 3x minus 5 if someone asks you yes whether it is a linear equation or not don't get confused see it is not a linear equation but it is a linear polynomial that means it is a linear algebraic expression because the power of x is what the power of x is 1 but see we do not get any sort of equal, equal sign here and for equation what we need this equa equal sign so that you can have something like you know left hand side is equal to right hand side but here it's merely an algebraic expression so we say that this is not a linear equation but yes it can be termed as linear polynomial or say linear algebraic expression this is not okay now also if we have 3 x to the power half plus y is equal to 2 here see y is raised to power 1 but here see x is raised to power half so this is not a linear equation okay however if we have equations of the type say 3x is equal to 5 similar similar to this okay x is equal to 30y then we can say for sure yes these are linear equations and also the solutions can be find x is equal to 5 by 3 okay so remember for linear we, we have to deal with degree 1 okay and whenever we are talking in context of pairs we have to take into account two linear equations now let us go through the different forms of linear equations that means how a linear equation can be expressed in different forms so the first form is slope intercept form so here we write ok 
कि y इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी सो दिस इज हाउ वी राइट अ लीनियर इक्वेशन ओके इन स्लोप इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म so linear equation okay they represent straight line is not it so this is nothing but the equation of a straight line so this is the straight line okay you obtain when you plot this equation graphically now slope and intercept okay so m is known as slope of the straight line okay so m is the slope so m is the slope or gradient of the straight line okay so see you have the straight line here you see yeah it has some sort of inclination with respect to the x axis so this slope will give you an idea about this inclination of the straight line okay so m is that is the slope is nothing but tangent of this inclination that is if theta is the inclination of the straight line then 10 theta that is tangent of theta will represent the slope or gradient of this straight line okay so example we have y is equal to m say 5 x plus c say this now what is c here c is the intercept okay intercept on the y axis so you see this is the straight line okay and it will cut the y axis okay so that portion okay this portion is known as the intercept it is represented by small letter c intercept that the straight line makes on the y axis so c is the intercept on the y axis now see from this example 5 will be the slope and what will be the intercept 7 okay so next we have point slope form okay so how we write how linear express linear equation is expressed here is so y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 so point slope form that means you will have a point and you will have a slope so this is the equation okay this is the graph represented by this equation so m is the slope Okay, you see, yeah, this is a straight line, and similar to this case, okay, m here is also the slope or gradient of this straight line. Now, what is x one and y one? See, this is equation of a straight line passing through a point, okay, and what is the point? X one, y one. So you see, yeah, the straight line passes through the point x one, y one, and it has a slope. So if m is the slope, x one y one is the coordinates. Okay, they are the coordinates of the point through which the line passes. Then in this way, you have to represent or say write that particular equation of the straight line. So example, y minus three is equal to Say five by four x minus two. Okay. So what is the third form now? The third form is the general form. Okay. So here we represent a linear equation by. A x plus B y plus C is equal to zero. Okay, so this is equation number two, and this 
is equation number three. The three different forms in which we can write a linear equation. Okay, so here see A, B, C are constants. Okay, so A is the coefficient of x, B is the coefficient of y, and A, B, C are constants. Okay, so this equation also represents a straight line. Now example. See, A, B, C are constants. So, any value you can take, okay? So, for example, say 7x plus 5y minus 2 is equal to 0, okay? So, this equation can be easily reduced to this form, okay? And then you can easily plot the graph, which you will find that, yes, it is a straight line, okay? Now, in class 8, okay, we were first introduced to linear equation. So, there we learned about linear equation in one variable. In class 9, we learned about linear equation in two variable. Also, we learned how to plot them graphically and to find out their solutions. We also learned about equations of line parallel to x axis and y axis. So, in class 10, we will be learning okay, about pair of linear equations in two variables. That means, there will be two linear equations and both the linear equations will have how many variable? Two variable. Okay. So, what will be the general form of those? Okay. Of that particular pair of linear equations in two variable. See, from here only we can write So, this is one equation and we are talking about what? pair of linear equation. So, we need another linear equation is not it. So, so you see a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to 0. Okay. So, we will be dealing with linear equations. Okay. Pair of linear equations in two variable. What are the two variables? Here x and y. Okay. So, and this is the general form, okay. A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 are constants. A1 and A2, these are the coefficients of x, B1, B2, coefficients of y. So, in class 10, okay, within the topic, pair of linear equations in two variables, we will go through such linear equations, okay. And also, we will learn how to find out solutions to such equations, pair of linear equations, both by algebraic method and graphical method. Also, we will go through equations, okay, that can be reduced to a pair of linear equations in two variables, okay. So, that is all for this session. In the upcoming session, we will be learning about pair of linear equations in two variables in detail. Thank you.